What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color cheeks with boom Copic markers. Now for this video I'm going to show you how to do it with light skin and dark skin and for this tutorial you're going to need four colors of each and let me show you. So for the light skin tone you're going to need YR000, YR00, RO2, and R20. And for the dark skin tone we're going to use E33, E23, E04, and R85. So now let me zoom in on one so we can get started. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna let you guys know that uh, the colors that I use for the skin tone are the YR00 and the YR000. And then the rest of the colors that I use for this girl will pop up somewhere on the screen, but for now that's the skin combination that I use. So we're gonna need these at some point in the video, so I'm just gonna set these aside for now. And now for the cheek, for the cheekbones, we're gonna actually start off with R20. And we're just gonna add some cheeks, some cheek marks right on the side, like run, right underneath the eye, like right over here where the cheeks are. And to help blend those in, YR triple zero. Let's see how we're blending that in to the skin tone. Now that we got the initial pink blended in with the skin tone, we can go in with something that's a little bit more pink. We're not going to really use a very vibrant and very saturated pink. We're going to use a pink that is uh, kind of like a skin tone in a way. So that's why we have RO2. And then we're just going to dab in some spots here, like right in the center of the cheek. So RO2 is like a pink that's kind of blended in with this skin tone that we're using here. So that's why I chose to use RO2 as the cheeks. And then we're gonna take R20 and blend the RO2 into the skin tone again. And then if it doesn't look right, you can still go back in and do the same process that you did over. So keep in mind when you're doing this, it's best to have a pink that kind of looks like there's a skin tone mixed into the actual pigment. So that way it'd be easy for you to blend. Like if, like say if I use like a very vibrant pink for the cheeks, it'd be hard to blend and it looked like, and it looked like really weird and you'd have watermarks all over the place and when you're doing stuff like this. So that's why it's best to have a pink with a, uh, with a little bit of skin tone mixed into it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it with a dark skin girl. And now the colors that we used earlier for this light skin girl, we're not going to use for this other one. So we can set these aside. Instead... The colors that I use for the skin are E33 and E23. So again, we're going to use these at some point in, um, in the video. So we're just going to set these aside for now. But for the cheeks, we're going to start off using E04. So again, it looks like a skin tone shade, but it also has some pink mixed into it. It'd be easy to do stuff like this with uh, this color. And it, see, it actually does look like a, a brown-ish. So we're going to start off making circles, both beneath the eyes. And then I'm going to use the lighter color. Actually, this is actually the base color. So we can mix this in, which is E33 I'm using to blend that into the skin tone. And I like to use some feather blending techniques just so there won't be any watermarks. And then going towards the middle of the cheek, I'm gonna use R85 to blend like right over there. I'm just gonna dab in the middle. I'm not gonna kind of make it into a circular motion, just like a few dabs. And then just go back and blend with the EO4.
and then use your E33 to kind of blend it all. And see, that's how you make, uh, you know, cheekbones on a dark-skinned person. I know people are going to be like, it kind of looks like a scab, but it really isn't. But we don't want to go too vibrant with the pink because it's going to look weird. So that's how you color cheeks with Copic markers. If you missed it in the beginning, any colors that I use in the video and all the additional colors will pop up somewhere on the screen. And if you liked my video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I